So last year when I was planning to give the FRC two way exam, I searched the whole internet for a video like this, which would explain me the details of the exam and how to go about it. But at that time, I did not find any such video on the internet. Therefore, I decided if I crack the FRC two way exam with a decent score, I will make a video regarding my preparation strategy and the exam pattern, so that this video. Will help the future generation people who are planning to give the FRCR exam. So, fast forward to 2024, I passed my FRCR 2A exam with a very good score of 192. Therefore, here I am making that video. So, let's get started. So, guys, the FRCR 2A exam is relatively a difficult exam because the pass percentage is usually 50%. That means that only the fifty percent of the people who give the exam will actually end up passing the exam. So you need to have a very good structural understanding of the exam pattern so that you can pass the exam without much tension. So the FRC Act Two A exam contains two papers, each with one twenty MCQs, which are held on two separate days. So each MCQ carries one positive mark. And there is no negative marking. So overall, the exam is going to be for two forty marks, and the and the minimum amount of marks that you require to pass the exam will usually be in the range of one fifty to one sixty. So this is how the exam pattern is. Now let's get into the strategy. So I will divide the resources for the exam into two parts: to study and to revise. So guys, the crack the core is going to be your most important resource when it comes to any competitive exam in radiology, especially the FRCR exams. All the important and confusing topics are given in a very beautiful manner, and the author even provides you multiple ways to help you remember all the confusing and memory-related topics. So this is going to be your main resource. Uh, the other resources are going to be Radiopedia and online articles from Radiographics or AJR. Because Crack the Core, even though it's an amazing book, does not contain all that is required for the FRC exam. Therefore, you might need to read few articles and read a few pages to get the additional information, which you can add onto your notes or onto your Crack the Core book to make it more complete. And to practice, you have again two resources: the offline MCQ books and the online MCQ. So the offline MCQ books. Two of the most famous ones are going to be your Oxford MCQ book and Get Through. Oxford MCQ book is popularly known by the name Richard Lindsay, and this is going to be your gold standard MCQ book. His next book is going to be Get Through. Out of these two, if you have to choose one, then definitely go for the Oxford MCQ book because the explanation in this book is top notch. So all the topics are divided into respective chapters, and each chapter contains about seventy-five questions. So once you solve any question, you definitely have to read the explanation in this book because the explanations in Oxford are gold standard, much better than anything you'll find anywhere. And so once you read these explanations, you would like to note them down in your crack the core book or in your notebook because these concepts are going to repeat themselves in the exam. So make sure you are very very thorough with these concepts. So again, the online resource for this is going to be your FRC or exam prep. It is a subscription-based service. You can access it from your laptop and your phone. So it costs about four thousand per month. It contains about six hundred MCQs. More of much of the MCQs keep repeating themselves. So it's a good way of practicing the questions and just realizing how much percentage of them you are getting right. So these are going to be your resources for the first year two exam. Now let's come to the strategy proper. How to plan the preparation. So, so there are two phases of preparation. First is the studying phase. Next is the revision phase. So, in studying phase, you should ideally be reading each chapter from crack the core, and then do the respected MCQs from either Oxford or FRC exam prep. And once you're doing these MCQs, you'll get many new concepts and many unknown concepts and many questions you'll get wrong. So, the ones which you are getting wrong and the ones which are new to you, you add them to the crack the core book. Or your notebook. So keep repeating this for all the chapters. Read from crack the core. Do MCQs from either online resource or offline resource or both, and then you add this information to your note. Eventually, you'll complete all the chapters like this. So this completes your studying phase of the exam. 
so once you are done with the studying phase now so you'll do the entire oxford and fsc exam prep again and this time also you'll find lot of new concepts and lot of things that you're going wrong and you add these to your notes again and you keep revising your crack the core again so you keep doing the same thing keep solving mcqs add the mcqs add the explanations to the questions that you went wrong into your textbook or into your notebook and you keep revising the notebook that you made so you will continue this till the exam days so guys you will study each chapter from crack the core and you will do mcqs from that chapter during revision phase you will start doing the mcqs from oxford and fsr exam prep and whatever new things you are finding or whatever mistakes you are doing you will write them in your notes and you'll continue this cycle till the morning of the exam and this is going to be your mantra which will help you pass the exam now let's come to the time that is required to pass the exam so ideally you would require about 2 and 1/2 3 months again some people might require little more time and some people might be doing it in 1 and 1/2 month as well so the average is going to be 2 and 1/2 3 months provided you are reading for at least 3 hours a day and this 3 months you like to divide equally between study and revision giving them 1 to 1 and 1/2 month each so important tips to help you in the exam firstly do not get stuck in the study phase forever so we have a tendency of going in depth on particular topic and we end up lot of hours eventually days in trying to figure out that topic do not do that mistake because there's lot of syllabus to get covered and you just cannot afford to get stuck in one topic all right so do not get stuck in the study phase forever remember that revision phase is much more important than studying phase so it's always better to spend more time on revision phase than studying phase so guys remember what are complete exam you are planning to give if you can't revise what you have studied then don't bother studying it at all it's true in frc exam as well so make sure that you spend more time in more time in revision than study another thing is do not get disheartened when you start solving the questions so usually what we will think is we are reading the chapter from crack the core book and then we are doing the mcqs immediately from the respected resources we will think that we should be getting most of the questions right because we just studied the chapter but it is not the case most of these mcqs are going to be complex and require deeper understanding and practice therefore initially when you start solving you will get lot of questions wrong but do not get disheartened by it especially in the study phase as you keep practicing more and more eventually your score will improve and you will get much better scores so questions will be complex unknown and new even after you read the textbook so as long as you keep solving you will improve your overall performance so don't get disheartened and do not stop the preparation so this is how your ideal graph should look like once you start solving you will get very less marks and as you keep practicing more and more your graph will improve like this and you will eventually pass the exam so last thing there's a first year exam group on telegram by dr sandeep awal here he explains the exam in much more detail and it's a close knit community of all the people who are giving the exam or who have given the exam in the past so what are doubts you have regarding the exam you just post them on the group once you join the group and dr sandeep will answer your questions when i was giving my first year exam last year this was my only resource and what are doubts i had i used to put them on the group and someone used to answer so this is a good community for people who are planning to give the frc year exam so make sure you join the group i'll put a link in the description of the video from there you can join the group and you can interact with other people who are giving the exam and you can plan your study with them and you can ask your questions there and you'll get the answers so that's it for this video guys all the best for exams and i'll see you guys in the next one